What is going on YouTube? BCD back here with another quick video and today I wanted to go over some stuff. Uh, this video is titled Why Sony Wins the Council Wars. I am not a Sony fanboy but this is for the fanboys. I do do videos where I'm unbiased and I'm going to link that one up here as well. Um, but this ain't for that. This is the entertaining video where I just straight up be a biased fanboy. And I appreciate everything that Sony does without taking in any of the backlash or problems that the company has. Starting off with number one, they have the games. They always will have the games. There's no point in even debating it. At this point, you can tell from their roster, from their money that they're spending, from what they're trying to do. You know why they didn't give you a time for the pre-orders? Because they knew they was going to sell out. They knew they had to like let people, you know, get a chance to get one. So they had to ink it out in those ways. They had to just drop it randomly. Because if, if they didn't, Arab, nobody would have got one. It would have been all bots. That's why they didn't announce the time of when the pre-orders will go. And that's why they said tomorrow when they really meant today. They just gave you the PlayStation Collection. You know what PlayStation Collection gave you? They gave you 15 of the best 15 of the best games that ever came out on the Play S4, backwards compatible, going to work on your new system. You're going to be play, you're going to be able to play old games on your new system day one. These are, these are, these are, this is what you want. This is what you live for. You're going to be able to play those old games on your new system day one, and they're going to work properly. And they, they, they have confirmed these 15 to definitely be a part of the 99% that's going to work for you. So. Don't tell me they don't add value. Don't tell me they don't add value. Don't sleep either. We own Spider-Man. We own him. Wherever he want to go, he can't. He going to be on PlayStation. We own that man. So if y'all want to play with Spider-Man, make sure y'all buy a PlayStation 5. Just saying. Microsoft ain't got that. What? They got what? Halo? I'm going to play with Master Chief. Spider-Man. 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 You see how they SSD is going to be $219 just for a uh, one terabyte. We, we On our end, we actually going to allow you to pick and choose which one you want to go with. It, it, right now, nobody's selling them, so we don't know how much they're going to be. But trust me, you're going to be able to get the option to buy from anybody, not just one person. Seagate, not no proprietary crap. You're going to be able to buy this new technology day one when people start to sell them from different retail providers. So that's a plus as well we also give you an option of buying a digital edition playstation 5 even though that kind of knocks you off and you're only gonna be able to buy it from sony but still you getting that 300 dollars difference right there up front we giving you the same power in both specs without the disc though you know, obviously we not trying to you know short change y'all with no series s give you 1440p we're trying to give you the flat fat full experience on both and you get one for a hundred dollars cheaper. Come on, no matter that they weren't, or, you know, relatively available. Don't matter that once you buy into that, you only can buy digital games. Don't worry about none of that. That hundred dollars savings you're gonna get up front, that's gonna cover, you know, at least one seventy dollar game. I mean, maybe not the next and the next, but though, you know, that at least that first one, you're gonna save seventy bucks. So you can miss me with all of that. Quick break. I know there's plenty of things wrong with this video, but I'm still going to put it out because this is how fanboys, in my opinion, sound when they don't take in any other considerations outside of what they know about the Sony PlayStation 5. Continue. It don't matter that they bought Bethesda. We've been to buy Square Enix and Sega. Bags. We charge y'all for the remasters only because we're actually going to be putting in the work you know microsoft will give you an extra few frames or whatever but we're going to be putting in work on sony sony is actually going to be giving you a much better experience when it comes to spider-man remaster yes we jumped out first to do the 70 dollars in video games that's because we actually give you quality games so we got to charge we 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 got to start charging more in order for them to actually, you know, make money. We can't keep grabbing off of Sony and not giving back. That's why we charging 70. That's why they charging 70. That's why you need to pay 70 for Demon Souls and Destruction All-Stars. You think that's not going to be a 10 out of 10? Destruction All-Stars? 
You seen that game's gameplay? Boy, stop playing with me. Destruction All-Star is about to be a 10 out of 10, $70. Of course you got to pay that. Whatever. You got to pay that. You can't You can't keep on, you know, going with this $60 here, $60 there. No, 70 No, 70 70 Fanboy BCD at your service. How Xbox wins the console wars coming soon. Peace.